there are many ways to enhance the outdoor space of a residential property. It's fairly common to see paver patios, outdoor kitchens, water features, landscape lighting, even entertainment systems. Fire features are another enhancement that have become more and more popular over the years. Today, these fire features can be added more easily and affordably using RTF ready-to-finish products like the 36 and 42-inch modular outdoor fireplace kits. Recently, we spoke to our resident RTF expert, Brian Hensley, to learn more about the product. One of the benefits of the RTF fireplace kit is its fully welded construction broke up into modules. The entire unit shows up on two pallets that are already pre-assembled into four core units and four additional add-on units. The only tools that are required to assemble this is a drill, a level, and uh, a number two Phillips bit. Because of the materials used in this kit, the product is very safe. It is 100% Class A non-combustible materials, starting with a 16-gauge galvanized steel subframe and clad with a ceramic cement board exterior. That ceramic cement board is tested at 6200 degrees Fahrenheit with an acetylene torch. So RTF literally stands for ready to finish, meaning that it's going to allow you the flexibility you need to match any of your finished materials to those found on the job site. This may include stucco, natural stone, or manufactured stone. The real benefit of the RTF system is its time of construction. You can have this unit ready for veneer in less than an hour, as opposed to days if not weeks using traditional construction methods. So you can imagine the labor savings alone. As you heard from Brian, the RTF outdoor modular fireplace kits are relatively simple to construct compared to traditional methods. After marking off the location for the fireplace on a solid, level foundation, you will start the assembly process by removing the insert from the firebox. To do this, remove the screws attaching the three panels that surround the insert and set the panels out of the way. Be sure to save the screws for later use. Next. Remove the screws from the tabs, securing the insert to the subframe. Once this is done, you can slide the insert out and set it to the side. The insert is fairly heavy, so be careful when removing it. The four components of the traditional RTF fireplace kit are simply stacked, then secured to each adjoining section using the included screws. Begin by setting the hearth into place and use composite shims to level it if necessary. This is followed by placing the firebox on top of the hearth, making sure that the base is fitted into the cutout on the top side of the hearth. Secure the two sections together with the self-tapping screws. The sweep can then be assembled next in the same fashion. The chimney will be installed at a later time. At this point, you can reinstall the insert and secure it to the frame. Do not replace the surrounding cement boards at this time. Each kit comes with two sets of flue pipes, one set longer than the other. Each set has a small and large diameter pipe. Install the long, small diameter pipe first by dropping it down through the hole at the top of the sweep. The end with the locking tabs should be at the top. Press the bottom end securely into the flue at the top of the fire insert. Install the large diameter section in the same manner, except that the end with the locking tabs should be at the bottom. The chimney section can now be attached to the top of the sweep. This section is slightly rectangular, so make sure you have it positioned correctly. Once the chimney is in place, you can install the last sections of the flue pipe in the same manner as the longer set. The short sections will snap onto the top of each longer section. Once the flue pipes are in place, you can then replace the cement boards that surround the fire insert. The screws used for the ceramic cement board panels are different from the shorter stainless screws for the subframe. If you are using the optional wood boxes, be sure that they are plumb and level with the hearth and firebox. They will be secured to the main fireplace by mortar or stucco during the finishing process. At this point, the RTF fireplace is ready to finish with the veneer of choice. Once the finish has been applied, the last component to be added is the exhaust cap to the top of the flue pipe. Finally, in order to provide the needed flow of air to move smoke up through the flue, the fire insert manufacturer recommends installing ventilation just above the hearth on the back side of the firebox. Vents are included in the kit with detailed instructions for installation. The RTF Modular Outdoor Fireplace Kit is an easy and affordable way to enhance any outdoor space. Best of all, it can be done in a fraction of the time of traditional block construction methods. To learn more, stop into your local Ewing branch or visit us online at ewingirrigation.com.